excited to be here? Yeah. All right. Everybody excited to win Beats Wireless Headphones? Yeah. How about a pair of socks? Yeah. What do you think? Tell me. Take a look at these socks. You tell me what you think. I'm sure they're Show them. Stand up. Stand up. Put them on. Show off the socks. Put these on your foot. They act as sleeves. Show everyone the socks. Nice, right? Wow. You can keep those. <laughs> we have those, and then we also have these Actium little toy cars. They are wind-up cars, and if you remember from your childhood what that means, I didn't figure anyone would try to cast it. <laughs> Here, you can give it. You can give away the first one because of that. First guy close. They are awesome. They are little VW bus car toy cars. They're wind-up cars. Here, you want to play one? Sure. Okay. Yeah. You don't even want one. <laughs> All right. So the way we will give away these toys as well, uh, is that I'm going to ask very fun questions. You're going to answer anything that comes to your mind. If I like your answer, I will give you a toy car or a pair of socks. If uh, your answer is right or wrong, I still may give you a pair of socks or a toy car. So by all means, try and answer whatever you want. Yell out answers, use your laptops if you've got them to Google the answers, that's totally okay. There is no such thing as cheating when it's allowed. <laughs> to win the Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones, I would ask you to drop in your business card into this picture. If you don't have one, there are cards inside to fill out. You do need to fill them out completely. If you just put your name and we pull your card, you will not win and you will feel really sad because you will lose your Beats wireless headphones. Um, um, the only thing I have is the long price. Okay. So let's start with the very first question for a pair of socks. What year did vector extensions appear in Intel chips? It's a year, just guess a year. No, earlier than that. 1990. 1990, so long ago, it's so wrong, but you get a pair of socks anyway. No, 2010 was much closer. Guess a year, throw a year out, you win a pair of socks. 2007 is too early, almost though. 2008. 2008 it is. Did you get one? Not yet. Get one what? Socks. No, I just got these socks. Does he have a pair of socks? <laughs> now he does. <laughs> <laughs> to insert data into Actium Vector, you upload it and then do what? I'll give you all the hint. That's a trick question. You upload it and then do what? Nothing. 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 There you go. You, yeah, you can't have two pairs of socks. So you're going to take it and you're going to throw it over your head to someone else who can catch it. There we go. <laughs> Actium Vector's X100 query engine is named X100. Why? It's a clever name. What? It's 100 times faster. It is indeed 100 times faster than anything out there at the time to create. Did you know that or did you just guess? Just guess. Great guess. Actium Vector is now how much faster than Apache Impala? 29. No, much more than that. 29. It's called X100 for a reason. 100 times. No, but it's 10 times more than that. 100,000 times. Who said that? All right. And let's just share the wealth because I got a lot of socks to give away. You take one and throw the other two out to whoever wants them. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Almost decapitated someone with a pair of socks. Well, there you go. They don't fly very well, just that way. No, they don't. They stop very Acting and Vector was originally created in what city? Well known for water canals and legalization. Uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Amsterdam is right. All right, you're going to just throw a bunch of them and keep one for yourself. Oh, uh, he's handing them over. There you go. All right, the next question I think is easy, but I don't know. Let's see if everyone else thinks so. Who invented SQL? What? I don't know. Why we have the end? Hey, you get to throw more socks. <laughs> I'm going to just step over.
over here before you do this. <laughs> IBM, and who's specifically working at IBM? Can you do it, Who? Yorban. E for effort, it's not ready right, though. You can throw that one. Raymond Boyce, I heard that. Who said that? Raymond Boyce is one of these people. And Donald Chamberlain. Very good. Do you have a pair of socks? I'll get you one. Hold on. Since you guys have a table, you can play with the car. <laughs> Play with them. Just hand it around, pass them around. Alright, let's go for an easy one, or I'm just going to give away a lot of socks. But pretty much everybody will answer them. Okay. I can balance them. <laughs> okay, what does SQL stand for? So you get a pair of socks. I'll throw it away. Go. 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 And SQL used to be spelled S-E-Q-U-E-L. Anyone know what that stood for for the last two pairs of socks? It's only adding a couple of letters there. E for effort. It's not right. Which one is it? No, the original one was S-E-Q-U-E-L. Like the word. All right, structured English query language, even then they just didn't abbreviate the U and the L at the end. Uh, anyone know why? For the last pair of socks? Why did they switch it to SQL? Like Oracle? I don't know, but there, it was a trademark issue, and maybe that was yeah. it. Yeah. Got the extra All right, guys, I got to jump in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, I got a few more cards, and I don't have any more questions, so I'm just going to give them away. Let's start with... I can't throw these. They're a little heavy. <laughs>